better keep that train rolling right now at the moment. Toronto, so I'm so excited. Hello, beautiful people. Uh, my name is Janice Israeloff. I have an unapologetically Jewish name. <laughs> Israel like the country, and off as in fuck off anti-Semites. <laughs> okay, I know I don't look stereotypically Jewish, like I don't have a hook nose hunched over a money bag. But there are a lot of famous Jews that don't look Jewish. Um, the one that comes to mind is Jesus Christ. <laughs> a very famous Jew. He did really well for himself, took over his father's business. <laughs> yeah, he uh, has millions of followers, no Twitter account. Um, another famous Jew is, um, comes to mind is Drake. Very famous Jew. Yeah, yeah, best I've ever had. <laughs> um, yeah, and Ivanka Trump. Oh, well, but she's more of a fake too, right? I know Hanukkah's coming up. I'm sure she's gathering all her tiki torches to light her Hanukkah candles. <laughs> but, um, you know, not looking Jewish, it, it worked for me in high school. Like, um, I got to join the, like, the whites only club. Um, prom committee. And, um, you know, I knew they liked me there because, um, that's where they told me all the anti-Semitic jokes. You know, the nose joke, the, um, the money joke, the oven joke. Um, yeah, I know. But that didn't that didn't stop them from painting a swastika on my locker or 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 calling me a dirty Jew. That, you know that was you know that was 1978. I mean that was a long time ago, right? Like we don't have white supremacists now, <laughs> right? And I want to thank all the bigots for throwing pennies at me because I put them all in a bag and now I own property in Toronto. Thankful for. I had a great year. I I, um, I had a birthday. I turned 55. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for one step closer to death. That's great. Um, I'm now officially a senior at Shoppers Drug Mart on Thursdays. Great. Um, you know, but um, getting old. Like, there's some clues that I'm actually a senior because last week I spent all afternoon choosing an outfit for my colonoscopy appointment. <laughs> Yeah, I chose the backless number. <laughs> the is really hot. Um, but, you know, I wish I looked as hot as I feel. Because, you know, I feel hot. No, I... Oh, thank you. But, look, no, no, I feel hot. <laughs> hot. Like, oh my god, last night, I was so hot. I had the windows open, like, full blast, right? I was, I was like, sweating buckets. I was soaking wet. I was, like, ripped off all my clothes. I was, like, shook my husband. I woke him up. I said, honey, honey, I'm on fire. And he's like, oh, baby, you were so wet. <laughs> Except for that little dry patch. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love my husband. He's great. Um, he's amazing. I love being married. Um, but, I, you know, I, I, I kind of want to share something with you. I know, like, I'm 55, but, like, stop getting my period. Which is goes. I was thinking of changing my menstrual pads from always to never again. <laughs> um, I also just had my 30th wedding anniversary. Woo! Yeah, that's great. I love being married. But you know, I think marriage should be more like a job. Like, I think you should get promoted to a better husband every few years. <laughs> yeah, like my husband's more like George of the Jungle. Yeah, I should be at the George Clooney level after 30 years of service. <laughs> Yeah, he's more like George of the Jungle without the abs, tan, or ability to swing. <laughs> um, but, like, young people ask me, you know, what's the secret to, to being married? Like, to, to a long and, and happy marriage, you know? Uh, like, they ask me that. And, okay, well, the first thing is, is that my husband's the only guy I ever hooked up with that didn't dump me. <laughs> so, here we are. No, um, but the thing is, is, like, the two of you have to be crazy. Like, but not crazy in love, but uh, crazy in the way that keeps you together. Like, my husband has OCD and he's always trying to get me in bed. And like, well, I'm chronically depressed, so I'm already there. 